back of the body. A gentle increase of pressure. And as you exhale, really allow the back body to soften down into the floor beneath you. And just being aware of all those wonderful mechanics of your spine, so feeling those points of contact, but equally those spaces. Spine is that lovely undulating S shape for most of us. So you might find that there's a space just underneath the back of the waist there. And we'll really kind of follow the contours of the spine as we work on our back body today. So let's start by simply stretching one leg out in front of you and then the other. Reaching both arms back above your head, take a delicious full body stretch, have a little wiggle. Maybe a little wiggle of fingers and toes, a little circle of wrists and ankles as we come into our bodies. And then let's start by stretching out and creating a little bit of space. So as you push your right heel forwards, pulling the toes back towards your face, stretch back through your right fingertips and really open up into that right side of the body. Your left hip might slide up your, up your mat a little bit. And then we'll swap sides. So left heel, let's say you're pushing your foot into a wall in front of you and reaching back through the left fingertips, lovely. Let's come back through the center and inhale. As you exhale, pushing away, coming back to the center and then swapping sides. So reaching, reaching, reaching and lengthening alternate sides. We'll do one more with the right and one more with the left. You might notice, oh, the hip feels a little tight there. I can certainly feel it on one side. And when you've stretched that left side, let's come back to center. Now, by all means, continue with that as we do a couple more. Or if you want a little bit more, keeping the arms above the head, just kind of bend your elbows and see if you can catch hold of opposite elbows with your hands or just your forearms. If that's uncomfortable, keep the arms straight. Push your right heel away and stretch your right elbow or the right fingertips away from you. So maybe if you've got the arms bent, you feel that into the armpit, into the ribs a little more, and then release. Left side elbow or fingertips and heel moving in opposite direction. Let's do one more each way. So with the arms bent or the arms straight. And last time on the left. Lovely. When you release from the left, coming back from that full body stretch, point the toes, arch the back a little bit, create that space beneath your back body and the floor. And then slowly, let's walk those feet back in towards you, lowering the arms. So feet and knees hip width apart now. Slowly, snuggling your heels in towards your bottom. And just lift and spread your toes for a moment. And when you bring them back down onto your mat, try and keep that sense of space. And a lovely broadness across the ball of your foot. And let's start to create some movement in the pelvis again, really start to wake up these big muscles in the back body. So let's start by pulling the belly button down towards your spine very gently and try and press your back into your mat. And at the same time, think about curling your tailbone up towards you. And then as you reverse that, lengthen the tailbone away from you and try and create some space between the floor and your back as you arch the back, puffing up your chest. Pressing the back down, curling the tailbone up towards you. So we're dropping the pelvis back. And then tilting the pelvis forwards, trying to create that space, taking an inhale there. And as you exhale, navel to spine, trying to press your back down into the mat. And then as you inhale, we try and create that space. Let's do one more like that. So a little rocking backwards and forwards. There might be a small range of movement. You might be able to move quite freely there. Let's start to make that a little bit bigger. So come into that neutral position between those two extremes. This time as you inhale, let's start to lift the hips up, coming into a little shoulder bridge as you undulate your way up through the spine. And then as you exhale, really trying to keep that sense of space and length, roll your way back down. So a couple more like that. Try not to press down with your fingertips. Maybe using the strength of the back body to lift and lower your hips. Lovely. We'll do one more like that. So maybe this time you're Tailbone comes roughly level with the backs of the knees. And then rolling, rolling, rolling your way down. And when you come down this next time, just bring your right knee up and in towards your chest. Give it a little squeeze. 
and that's a nice stretch out through the lower back, nice diagonal stretch across the low back, bring the foot down to the floor, and then we'll just swap, swap sides. So you can hold your front or behind that knee as you give it a little squeeze in towards your chest. Foot down to the floor, let's take an inhale. Exhale, give that right knee a squeeze, giving it a hug in towards your chest, and inhale, foot to floor. Other side, as you exhale, left knee comes up, relaxing the shoulders, softening the face. If you want to add on, as you bring the knee up, start lifting your nose towards your knee, rounding your back, and then as you inhale, everything comes back down to the mat. So as you swap sides, alternating left and right, you can round the upper back as well, keeping the chin tucked in. Shoulders away from ears. We'll do one more with the right knee coming in. And then last time with the left knee. Give it a nice little squeeze. And then we'll come all the way down to the floor. Arms down alongside you now. Let's flip the palms up towards the ceiling so we're not relying on our hands. And this time, bring your right knee up and in towards your chest. Keep the head and shoulders on the floor. Now you can either stay there or start to press into left foot and see if you can lift your hips just off the floor, just by a few inches, and then bring everything back down. Other side, left knee comes in and up, pressing into right foot, see if you can lift the hips and just hover them off the floor, and then come all the way down. Lovely, we'll take an inhale. Exhale, right knee to chest, and just lift your hips just by an inch or so, and then come all the way down. And then other side, so you're bringing the knee in towards the chest and trying to lift your bottom off the floor and then lowering back down. Let's do a couple more like that. So we're doing a little bit of strength here, strengthening the back seam of the body, strengthening your glutes, your hamstrings, which again can all contribute to back pain and a posture. And you've lowered that left foot down to the floor this last time, we'll pause. Bring one knee in and then the other in towards your chest, one hand on each knee and give yourself a little massage, a little rock, a little roll. And then bringing your left foot to the floor, keeping the knee bent, let's hold behind that right leg and take it up towards the sky. And just start to move the ankle in a way that feels comfortable, pointing and flexing, or some little circles, trying to drop some weight into the back of your pelvis. And then with a flexed foot, push the heel up towards the ceiling. Try not to lift your bottom off the floor there. And keeping the foot flexed, we'll cross right ankle over your left knee. And just using the right hand, you can stay here and gently press that right knee away from you. Maybe add a little rock from side to side as we find a recline pigeon this morning. Or if you want more, you can lift yourself up so you can thread your hands between your legs and hold on around the back of the thigh. Lower yourself down and... Whatever position the legs are in, we're trying to squeeze that right knee away from you, opening up some space in the hip. Just make sure that tension doesn't creep into your shoulders and your face as you do that. Oh, a bit tight in that side this morning. Now keep the legs as they are, but bring the arms out to the side, level with your shoulders, top of a letter T. You're gonna come into a pigeon twist, so bring the legs over to the left. If it's too much for the ankle on the knee, go ahead and uncross the legs. You can use your left hand on that top knee or thigh to bring the knee down towards the floor. If it's too much, uncross your legs and just rest your knees and your ankles together. Stretching that right arm out and away from you. It's getting a nice stretch into the back, into the outside of the hip. And then releasing. We'll come all the way back through the middle. And I'm crossing everything, bring both feet to the floor. And we'll try that on the other side. So left knee coming up, holding around the back of the leg. Again, keeping the hips on the floor as you take the leg up and just circle or point your flex, bring some movement into the ankle. Sometimes helps to release the back of the leg as you just move very gently there. And then we'll start to push the heel up towards the sky, trying again to keep some weight in the pelvis. And then hook your ankle over opposite knee. And so this time it's the left hand that presses the knee away. And again, you might add that little rock from side to side. Gently, gently. Or join me in reclining pigeon, lifting head and shoulders so you can hold on around the back of your right thigh. Shin coming towards your chest, but all the time we're encouraging that left knee to press away from you. Keeping the foot flexed to keep that integrity in the joint. And try not to creep tension into the upper body. 
legs stay as they are, arms come out to the side. And this time we're bringing the legs over to the right side. Again, you can uncross them if this is a little bit too much too soon. And then right hand on top of your knee or your thigh there, just to encourage the knees down. Or you can skip that bit and just let gravity do the work for you. Either way is good. Just stretching out through the outer thigh there. Lovely. Reaching the arms out, let's come all the way back through the middle. Give both knees a nice hug. Maybe again a little circle, a little rock, or maybe bring your nose towards your knees, coming into that little ball, stretching up for a lower spine. And then head and shoulders coming down, holding on around the backs of the knees and rolling your way up, or just roll to one side as you come up to seat it. Beautiful. Let's stretch the legs out in front of you. And sliding or sit sideways onto, you can see what I'm kind of doing with my back. I'm going to slide my right foot in towards me, knee up towards the sky. A little bit of space between my bottom and my heel there. Interlacing the hands, just holding on around the front of the knee. Sitting up nice and tall, we'll take an inhale. And as you exhale, start to lean back and round the back, sliding your sit bones away from you. And then as you inhale, you use that knee to help yourself draw all the way up tall. And then exhale, arms straighten, almost like you're hanging off your knee. So inhale, maybe a bit of larch in the back as you squeeze your shoulder blades together. And then navel just fine, lovely. Let's do one more. So inhaling, sitting up. And exhale to round. Lovely. We'll sit all the way up nice and tall. Bring the right hand behind your bottom. We're gonna reach the left arm up towards the sky. Okay. So we're gonna bring that left elbow and see if you can bring it to the outside of your right knee and slide it down towards the outside of the thigh. It's a bit like Bruce Forsyth. Inhale, reach up. And as you exhale, elbow slides down the outside of right thigh. It doesn't matter how far it goes. Inhaling up. Get that good stretch and then sliding the elbow down. So it's a little rounding of the back. Let's do that one more time. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Releasing the arm. Let's try that on the other side. So left heel comes in. Right leg is out long and we interlace the hands around the front of the knee. Sitting up nice and tall. Breath in. And then breathing out. Navel to spine. So it's like you're trying to tuck your tailbone underneath you. And then sitting up nice and tall, inhaling. And exhaling to round, navel to spine. Lovely, a couple more times. So it's almost we're initiating that move from your sit bone, trying to slide your tailbone underneath you. Sitting up tall. And exhale to round. And then sitting up nice and tall, crossing left foot over your right leg and bring your left hand just behind your bottom there. So this time, right arm reaches up, 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 and then we're sliding right elbow down, down, down the outside of left thigh. Might not go very far. Inhale, reaching up. And exhale, sliding down. So the elbow's kind of coming down the outside edge of the body twice more. So we're getting a little bit of rounding there. Beautiful. One more time, inhale. And exhale, lovely, reaching up. I'm crossing everything, get the legs a little shake, shake. And we're coming into a zigzag. So right shin in front and left shin tucks behind you. Beautiful, right hand behind the hip. Let's bring the left hand onto your hip and really try and sit into that left sit bone like there's a press stunt underneath your bottom. And then start to roll the hip forwards, lifting the buttock off the floor and aiming your chest towards that right knee. And then we bring our way back and really sit into that sit bone, lovely. So rolling forwards, inhale, and exhale to sit right down into that sit bone. One more, inhale. So space between bottom and floor, and then bringing the bottom down, adding on, reaching out to the side. As you inhale, sweep the arm in front of the face, lift the bottom, and exhale, come all the way down, lovely. So inhale, rotating through the hip. So you by all means stay here or start to lift the hips up, looking towards that back hand, and then lower the hips and sweep the arm out to the side. 
So inhaling, you can either keep your bottom on the floor or add that little stretch into the front of the hip. Let's do that one more time. So inhale, lifting on up. And then coming all the way down. Lovely, bring the hands behind you so you can elegantly swap the legs over. So this time left shin is in front. And you might notice like me that it's harder on one side to feel balanced through your sit bone. So as, as far as is possible, bring that right sit bone down, right hand to hip and left hand behind you. So we start with that little hip roll. So you start to lift your bottom off and roll the hip. So chest is facing left knee and then try and bring the bottom down. So inhale space between your bottom and the floor and then try and close the space. Lovely, one more. So my arm isn't moving. I'm not lifting my elbow, it's my hip that's moving my arm. Let's reach the arm out to the side. So as you inhale, sweep the arm across the body, getting into the upper back and then inhale. Beautiful, inhaling and exhaling. If you want to add that little hip, width, hip lift, come with me now and then lower down. Reaching out to the side again, trying to imprint your bottom onto the floor every time you come all the way back down. Let's try that one more time. So you'll still get a lovely stretch if you keep your bottom down. Lovely, coming all the way back. Bring the hands down so you can safely bring the legs in front of you. Give them a little shake. And then we'll find our way round onto all fours. Hands under shoulders, knees under the hips. Spread the hands nice and wide and make sure there's space between your your knees and your wrists, you're not kind of round in the back. We've got a nice long spine there. Pressing into your hands, just bring your belly button up towards your spine so we're in that lovely flat back position. Now think about as we do our cat and cow for a million moves, we're going to start with our tailbone. So start to tilt your tailbone up and then allow that movement to travel up the spine. The belly dips, space between your shoulders dips and then your chin might come forwards. Keep the head where it is, but initiate that from the tailbone. Start to curl the tailbone under, rounding the back up like an angry cat. Head moves low. So she inhales, starting from the tailbone, rolling that movement up the spine. It stays where it is as you round the lower back, then the middle back, then the upper back, and then drop the gaze. Do that a couple more times. So this is a really familiar movement. It's a lovely one to bring some movement to the spine. But just by moving a little bit more mindfully, we can really feel where we've got those tight spots in our back body. Let's do one more. Lovely. And the next time you're in that angry cat position, pause, pressing into your hands, tailbone tucks under. Gently start to move your hips from side to side, like you're wagging a tail. And then maybe even bring your ear towards the shoulder. So you're shortening one side of the body and lengthening the other. Lovely stretch for the lower back. And then we'll come all the way back to the center. Pressing into your hands as you inhale, lift your belly. This time as you exhale round the back and bring right knee in towards your chest. So inhale, toes up towards the sky, chest comes forwards. And exhale, squeeze that knee in and round your back, lovely, twice more. Inhaling, keep pressing into the hands and exhaling to squeeze everything in. One more time, inhale. And exhale, lovely. Let's take the leg all the way back behind you, straightening the legs so you can bring the toes down. And then we'll take that right leg out to the right, lining up your big toe with your knee. Walking your hands back towards you, so ready for gate pose, arms out to the side. Feel free to bend your knee this morning if that's more comfortable. So pressing the hips forwards, let's reach over the top. That lovely side bend, reaching up halfway, take an inhale. And then over the top as you exhale, keep those hips pressed forwards. We'll do that one more time, inhale. And exhale over the top. Now we'll pause in that side bend. You can stay here, or here comes that little twist. We're gonna turn the chest down towards the floor, just by the way. So I'm taking my gaze towards the right foot. My arm is reaching over on a slight diagonal. Lovely, coming all the way back up. Lifting the top hip as you bring right fingertips down towards the floor. Feel free to stay there. We'll go ahead and bring the hand down. 
reaching that top arm alongside your ear, maybe lifting that top leg if you're up for a little bit of strength this morning. Lovely, lower the foot. And we'll walk both hands back underneath shoulders. If it's uncomfortable to keep your right leg extended, go ahead and bring it underneath you onto all fours. Right arm's gonna lift up as we thread the needle, take an inhale. And as you exhale, feed the arm underneath. As your hips drop back, you might feel a nice stretch in the inner thigh. Inhale, chest comes forward, arm opens. And then exhale, feed the arm underneath. Lovely, let's do that one more time, inhale. And exhale, hips dropping back. Lovely, reaching the arm up, bringing the weight forward. And then we'll bring the hands down. Take the leg all the way back behind you. And you can stay there, just rocking back and forth. Or come up into a downward facing dog. And just start to pedal out through the feet. Maybe take a little swing of the hips, a little shake of the head, stretching out through the back seam of the body. Beautiful. Now, if you don't want to do a plank today, feel free to come down onto all fours and you can do the same movement, shifting the weight forwards and then coming back onto all fours. So just dipping the chest forwards between your arms and coming back onto all fours. If you're in that downward dog, we're gonna make that movement bigger. So wherever we are, as you inhale, taking the body forwards to a plank on all fours or knees lifted. And then exhale back to downward dog or all fours. So inhale, try and roll the body forwards to plank. And exhale, hips up and back or back to all fours. Last time, let's come forwards to a plank. Pressing into your hands, dome up between the shoulder blades and then knees down, chest down onto your belly. Lovely. Arms come out to the side, level with your shoulders. I'm going to come up onto those little tented fingertips or you can keep the palms flat to the floor. Pressing into your hands as you inhale, lift the chest. And just have a little peep over your right shoulder and exhale, come down. You can always do this in a sphinx pose, elbows under shoulders. Inhale, lifting up. So be mindful of what's going on in your shoulders today. Let's do one more. So a little peep over alternate shoulders. A little bit into the neck, keeping the shoulders away from the ears. Let's do one more over that left shoulder. And then we'll come all the way back down. Hands underneath the shoulders. Tuck the toes under as you come back onto all fours and then send bottom to heels. Just in a half dog, stretching it all out. Give the wrist a little wiggle, fingers a little tap, and then we'll find our way back onto all fours and we'll try that on the other side. So pressing into your hands, dip your chest, look forwards, take an inhale. And as you exhale, left knee to nose as you round the back. Toes up towards the sky, let's take an inhale. And exhale, squeezing everything into the middle. And our little tiger pose, inhale. And exhale to round. Let's do that one more time. So inhale, toes go up and back. And exhale, we squeeze on it. This time we'll take the leg all the way back behind you, all the foot to floor, and then we'll take the left leg out to the left. Again, lining up big toe with knee or thereabouts. And we'll come all the way up. Remember, you can always bend the left leg and turn the knee open if that's more comfortable. Let's take an inhale. And as you exhale, right arm comes over the top. Lovely side bend, reaching up, inhale. And coming down over that extended leg. Oh, that's a good one, inhale. So we'll hold this side stretch and feel free just to stay there, reaching the arm straight over the top of the head. Or again, just start to turn the chest gently down so I'm looking towards my left toes. And I'm reaching the arm on a slight diagonal. Lovely, coming all the way back up, lifting that top hip as you reach right fingertips towards the floor. We'll go ahead and bring the hand out. I'm going to have to move or I'm going to end up in the furniture. Left arm alongside the ear and maybe lift that top leg if you wish. If not, keep the foot on the floor. Beautiful foot coming down. It's heavy, that leg. Okay? Bring the arms out underneath your shoulders. Remember, you can do this from all fours as we take left arm up towards the sky this time, taking inhale. And then exhaling, fingertips feed through. So my hips are dropping back a little bit. 
Inhale, bring the chest forwards and up. And exhale, arm feeds underneath. Lovely, let's do that one more time. Inhale. And exhaling, beautiful. Bring the arm all the way up. One last stretch up for the chest before we bring the hands down. Take that leg all the way back behind you. And you might again just rock back and forth. Or join me in that downward facing dog. Pressing the hands forwards and down, hips up and back. And either from all fours or again from plank. Let's inhale and pull the body forwards to plank. And exhale, push back downward dog. Twice more, inhale. Rolling the body forwards and then coming all the way back. Last time coming forwards. Knees down, chest down, arms off the mat on those little tented fingertips or flat palms or take a sphinx pose. This time as you inhale, let's come up through the middle, lifting the head at the top of the inhale and exhale, stretching the chest forwards and down. Twice more, so inhale. You're almost hanging your head before you lift your chin at the top of that move. So coming all the way up. And coming all the way down, beautiful. Hands under shoulders, push back all fours. Tuck the toes, bottom to heels in that half dog. This time we'll walk your hands back towards your knees. Pick up your knees. And then let's lift the hips up into a forward fold at the back of your mat. Bend your knees, cradle your elbows, maybe sway the body side to side if that feels nice this morning. Just allowing hamstrings to release. And then releasing the elbows, rolling the body up. Take your time as you come up to stand. Beautiful. I'll turn around to face you so you can see what I'm doing. So keeping a little softness in the knees, we're going to reach the right arm up towards the sky. And then looking down towards the left hand corner of your mat, you're going to bend your knees and take that right arm over the body on a diagonal. Reaching down towards the left side of the mat and then all the way out and up, palm up towards the sky. We'll take an inhale. Exhale, bending the knees as you get that lovely twist and stretch in the back all the way up. And then all the way down, beautiful. Let's reach the arm all the way up. And left hand to left hip as we come into a nice half moon side bend. So arm directly alongside the ear, pushing the hips out to the side. And then release. Let's try that on the other side. So left arm up. And this time you're reaching over on the right. So on the right corner of the mat. And then palm up, inhale. So moving slowly. Using the core, so navel to spine, so we're not kind of putting any additional strain on the back as we move the arm in that slow circle. Lovely. This time we'll reach up, right hand to hip. Arm comes straight over the top, so we're bumping the hips gently out to the side. Lovely. Coming all the way back and bringing the hands down. So this is a funny one, but it's a good one. So. I'm going to ask you, excuse my legs, <laughs> I'm going to ask you just to bend your right knee, but keep the foot on the floor. So it's that sassy, left leg is straight, right knee is bent. Lovely. So we're going to bring left hand behind the head. You can have your right hand on your hip or just let it rest, whatever works for you. So left elbow, pull it back and turn your gaze up towards the ceiling. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, Try and bring elbow towards that bent knee, keeping the left leg straight. So inhale, arm pulls back, open up through the chest, and exhale, elbow towards bent knee, that left leg is straight. Lovely, let's do that twice more. So you're pulling a tennis racket back as though you're about to serve. And then coming across, let's do that one more time, inhale. So it's just the left elbow moving and just the right knee, which is bent. Lovely, coming all the way back up and releasing. This time, left knee bends, right leg is straight, right hand behind the head. So we draw the elbow back, open up through the chest, take an inhale. Exhale, elbow coming towards the bent knee. And you might notice like me, that one side feels completely different to the other, inhale. So right elbow towards left knee, left knee bent, heel on the floor. Inhale. 
and exhale. Beautiful. Let's do that one more time. So I can certainly feel that one side feels different to the other. Lovely. Coming all the way back up and release. I will embarrass myself no longer with my knees. So we're at the back of the mat. Feet underneath your hips. Let's bend the knees. Sweep the arms out and up. Take an inhale. Exhale, come down into your forward fold. Sliding hands up the legs, lifting up halfway as you inhale. And this time as you exhale, coming back into your downward dog. So walk your hands forwards or you come onto all fours. So let's bend that right knee again. Stretching the left heel down towards the floor. And as you inhale, float the right leg up and back. And as you exhale, step that foot forward between the hands and lower the knee. Let's interlace the hands in front of you and sweep those arms up towards the sky, lifting up into that lovely crescent lunge, pressing down through the front foot. We take an inhale and exhale, little side bend over to the right. Inhale through the middle and over to the left. And then reaching up, separate the hands and a big sweep out to the side, coming back down and round to your heart. Let's sweep the arms out and up. And this time we'll take the arms out, level with shoulders, palm up towards the sky. And try and tilt your thumbs back, your little fingers up. And see if you can lift your chest and maybe even lift your chin as you come into a little back bend of sorts. Lovely, arms reach up. And then bring the hands down, we'll frame that front foot. Pick up the back knee and step to the top of the mat. Lovely. Rising up, sweeping the arms all the way out and up. Hands coming down to the heart. Lovely, bending the knees, sweep the arms up, take an inhale. Down into that forward fold as you exhale. Coming up halfway, breathing in. As you breathe out, right leg slides back this time and we bring the knee down. Again, untuck the toes and then interlace the hands, we'll sweep the arms up, lengthening through the side of the body, take an inhale and over to the left this time. Inhale through centre, little side bend over to the right. Lovely, reaching up and again releasing the hands and circling them all the way back to the heart. Lovely, arms come out to come up. Breathing in. As you breathe out, let's open the arms up to the side again, dropping the thumbs back, little fingers tilting up. See if you can lift your chin, lift your chest, or squeeze the shoulder blades together. And then reaching the arms up. Hands coming all the way down, picking up the back knee, step back into your downward dog. Option to stay there or inhaling, roll the body forward to plank. And as you exhale, come down onto your belly, use your knees if you need to. Finding a cobra as you lift your chest. And exhale to roll your way back down. Back onto all fours as you inhale. And toes tuck, hips lift, downward facing dog. We're going to try that on the left side, one movement, one breath. So again, as you bend your left knee, stretching that right heel down towards the mat. And taking the left leg up towards the sky, let's take an inhale. And as you exhale, step or help it forwards, lower the back knee. Interlace the hands, sweep the arms up, let's take an inhale. Over to the left, exhale. Up through the middle, breathing in. And over to the other side, breathing out. Inhaling, reaching up. And exhale, take a big circle all the way back to the heart. Sweep the arms out and up, inhale. And as you exhale, open the arms out, lift the chest. Little fingers pointing up towards the sky, breathing in, reaching up. And breathing out, bring the hands down. Stepping forwards to your flat back as you breathe in. And folding over the legs, breathing out. Let's rise on an inhale, pressing into your feet, sweeping the arms up. Hands coming to heart, exhale. Last round, inhale. And exhale to fold. Coming up halfway, breath in. And this time left leg slides back and the knee comes down. Interlace the hands, sweep the arms up, breathing in. Over to the right, a little tip. Try to keep that front knee forward as you breathe in. And over to the left. Lovely, separate the hands as you breathe in and reach up. And exhale, big circle back to the heart. 
Lovely, breathing in, arms come out to come up. And exhale, open the arms out last time, thumbs back, little fingers up. Reaching up, take an inhale. And exhale, hands come down. Picking up back knee, step back into your downward dog. Option to stay there or breath in to roll forwards to a plank. And exhale to lower. Let's come all the way up into your little cobra. Inhale and release, exhale. Inhaling onto all fours. Exhale, tuck the toes, hips back. Take a moment in that lovely half dog. Having a moment to catch your breath, stretching into the feet. I'm just going to turn around so I can mirror you. And then from there, let's slip the hips back up into your downward facing dog. Let's take the right leg up and back as you inhale. And as you exhale, step it forward, it's tougher than that. But the right foot's coming forwards. Beautiful. We're going to drop that back heel in. When you're ready, come up into your warrior two. So we've got our right toes pointing forwards. Beautiful. Left toes pointing to the long edge of the mat. Sink a little deeper into that front knee and keep the body nice and upright. And then leaning forwards, right hand or forearm to thigh, we'll take that top arm up or up and over, coming into your side angle, really reaching the fingertips away from the outside edge of that back foot. Lovely. Coming all the way back up into your warrior two, left hand to left hip. You know, reach your right arm up and over, and at the same time, try and draw that right hip down so we're not collapsing in the low back. Body stays where it is. We're going to straighten that front leg. And then reaching forwards with that right arm, coming into your triangle pose. So hand finding thigh or shin. And try and open that top shoulder. Lovely. You can keep the hand on the waist or even bring it behind your low back or take it up towards the sky. And you might want to stay there or start to circle that left arm forwards and down. And then reaching all the way up, breathing in. And then breathing out. So we're turning the chest again, slightly towards the floor. We'll squeeze the bottom as we do that one more time. Inhale. And exhale. Let's reach that right arm, uh, that left arm, all the way up towards the sky now. Palm facing forwards. Lovely. Bending the front knee. Let's come back into our warrior two. Breathing in. And breathing out. Reverse your warrior one last time. Lovely. Bringing the arms out. Breathing in. And breathing out, bringing both hands down, framing the front foot, all 10 toes point forwards now. As we come into a twist, lifting that right arm up towards the sky. Lovely, and then bringing the hand down. Option downward dog, or right leg comes up and back into a three-legged dog. Beautiful, and then on your next inhale, roll the body forwards to plank. Lowering foot, the shoulders come over wrists, down onto the belly. Maybe a cobra, maybe an upward dog as you inhale. And as you exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Lovely. Let's try that on the other side. So this time, left leg, the float all the way up. And then step or help it forwards between your hands. Rising up when you're ready into that warrior two. So we've got our left foot forwards this time, arms out to the side. So we're all on the opposite leg. Beautiful, sink a little deeper into that front knee. And then reaching forwards, left forearm to thigh. And right arm might come up alongside your ear. You might just wrap the arm alongside your low back there. Lovely, back up through the middle. Bringing right hand to hip. So as you take that left arm up and back, I'm drawing that right hip down. So again, I'm creating space in the back. Lovely, let's straighten that front leg. And reaching the body forward. So this top hip's going to lift a little bit as you bring the left hand down onto your thigh, your shin, rolling the shoulder open. You can look up or down as you maybe release that top arm up. And you might try those little circles with me, sweeping the right arm forwards and down. And all the way up, breathing in. And breathing out to circle the arm down. Lovely. One more time. If that's too much, you just keep the arm resting alongside the body if that's too much for your shoulder. And then bringing the arm straight up towards the sky, joints in alignment. Lovely. Bending that front knee, come back into your warrior. And reverse. Lovely. Inhaling to centre. 
And as you exhale, tick tock the hands down, pivot on that front foot. Left arm lifts this time as you breathe in. And breathing out, bring the foot down. Downward dog, or let's take left leg up and back into that three-legged dog. And as you inhale, roll the body forwards to plank, flaring your foot, and exhaling down onto your tummy. Last back bend of choice, cobra, or maybe an upward dog. And then we'll all meet in a downward facing dog. From downward dog, walk your feet a little wider apart, lower down onto all fours. Keeping the knees wide, put your big toes together. And maybe today, check the elbows out to the side so you can stack your hands one on top of the other and rest your head on your hands, allowing the upper back to release. Your chest and your belly just to melt down. Take a moment there just to catch your breath, allow the breath to catch up with the body. Yeah. When you're ready, just lifting up your chin, your chest, bringing the knees together so you can drop your hips to one side and swish the legs out in front of you. So actively slide the flesh of your sit bones out from underneath you. You're almost kind of trying to pull your bottom back behind you. It's quite often many of us that kind of sit into our low backs. So we want to kind of sit right up on our pelvis. So if you can't do that, pop something underneath your bottom to lift your hips up and slightly tilt you forward. So you've got that nice long back. Popping a bend in the knees if you need to. Let's sweep the arms up, take an inhale. And so exhaling, reaching forwards. Doesn't matter where your hands land, your shins, your thighs, maybe your feet. Try and keep that sense of lengthening the body forwards. When you've settled into that lovely forward fold, again, you might just try and walk your bottom back behind you as you bring your chest forward. So we're creating as much space in the back seam of the body as we can. Easing your way down there. All of that stretching it out. Bring it all the way back up. Let's bring that right knee up and in. But this time we'll come into that more conventional twist. So foot on the inside or crossing it over to the outside. Use your left hand or your elbow to squeeze that knee in place. And take a big circle with the right arm. Fingertips to the floor or you can wrap it around onto your lower back there. Stretch out through the left heel. And again, try and sit forwards on your sit bones so we're not leaning into that back hand. You've got a nice, lovely, long, tall spine. Now you might just want to keep the head looking over towards the right or bring the head back to me. Just very gently, keeping the shoulder open, just nod your head up and down a few times. So if you've drawn that right shoulder back, you might get a nice stretch out through the side of the neck into those little muscles that run up the side of the neck there that can get very tight. Lovely, lifting the chin, keeping the head central now as you just take the body round in the opposite way, unraveling the spine as you turn around to the left. And then come all the way back through the middle, uncrossing, giving the knees a bounce and we'll swap sides. So if you can't comfortably bring that left big toe to the floor, keep it on the inside of the leg. Right hand or elbow gives a squeeze and we circle left arm all the way up and back. Hand on the low back or fingertips on the floor behind your, your left sit bone there. Stretching the right heel away from you, turning to look to the back of the room there, over your shoulder, that's comfortable. And then again, if you want that little neck stretch, you bring the head forwards. Keep the shoulder open as you do those little nods. A little nods up and down, just a couple of times. You might notice again, like I do, the one side feels distinctly stiffer than the other. Oh my goodness, falling to pieces like my dishwasher. Bringing the head back up and turning the body round to the right. I think when you do yoga as regularly as we do, you become very familiar 
to feeding those inconsistencies in the body, don't you? The sort of differences between right side and left side. Coming back to center, giving the legs a stretch and then bending the knees. Let's come down onto our backs, bringing the knees with you. Pop a jumper on if you need to, if you're in a chilly room. It's uh, feeling a bit autumnal this morning, isn't it? Have a little massage across the back. And bring your left foot down to the floor. So we've got our right knee hugged in towards the chest. Now you might just want to stay there with the other knee bent or slide the left heel away from you. Pulling the toes back towards your face. Keeping the left toes up towards the ceiling. Just guide that right knee down towards your right armpit. Try not to shift the weight on the back of the pelvis there. And you might want to stay there or join me in a half happy baby. Lift your head, lift your shoulders. So you can use your right hand to hold the inside or outside edge of that right foot. You take the sole of the foot up towards the sky and draw your knee down towards your armpit. If you can't hold your foot, you can always hold on around your shin there. Trying to keep those left toes up towards the sky. You invariably want to roll out to the side, but see if you can keep them pointing up towards the ceiling. And slowly release, give that knee a squeeze and then bring the right foot down to the floor, knee bent and then let's give that left knee a squeeze. So we keep the foot on the floor, you can keep the foot on the floor throughout keeping that right knee bent if that's more comfortable. If you want to slide the right heel away from you, you keep the heel on the floor and really actively press down through the heel as you try and guide that left knee towards your left armpit. And then joining me, maybe in half happy baby, lifting head and shoulders. This time, left hand holds on to the inside or outside edge of the foot. And we're bringing that knee down towards your armpit. Those right toes again want to roll open. So see if you can point them up towards the ceiling there. And I stretch out through the back of the leg into the hip. Lovely. Slowly release, bring that knee in towards your chest and then slide the right heel in and then bring the right knee up. So both knees hugged in. One hand on each knee. Let's take the knees nice and wide apart, but keep the big toes pointed together. And slide your hands down towards the top of your ankles. It doesn't matter how far they go. And see if you can try and really release your lower back, the back of your pelvis down into your mat. Most of us, our bottoms will be lifted off the floor a little bit, but see if you can begin to just release those muscles around the lower back by lengthening. And when I first started doing yoga, there was no way I could flatten my lower back down into the mat, but gradually over time, I've been able to bring that a little bit closer to being. There's definitely more of my back in contact with the floor than when I first started yoga. So they, they do give. <laughs> over time. Lovely. Slowly release, just bring the knees back in towards your chest, bringing them together. Have a little circle of the knees, so with one hand on each knee, just take the knees round in a circle, get them round one way, and then just take them round the opposite way. And bringing both feet down to the floor, Feel free to have a delicious full body stretch if that feels good. Extending the arms, extending the legs. Maybe again, reaching into one side of the body and then the other. Balancing things out. And then just finding a comfortable position for a couple of moments of Shavasana. So either keeping the legs stretched out in front of you, but bringing the arms back down by the side of the body or Go ahead and re-bend your knees. Take your feet a little bit wider apart so you can rest your knees against each other. Ah, lovely. And again, just bring your awareness to the back seam of the body now. Again, we're not trying to get rid of the natural arches and undulations of our spine. So again, you might notice areas of space where the back body isn't in contact with the floor. But those areas that are resting on the floor, maybe between your shoulder blades, your lower back, 
Just see if you can begin to relax and release into them. So the that sense of heaviness begins to increase as you allow the mat to support you there without any need to grip or hold. And begin to deepen and lengthen the breath now. Stress and tension can play a huge part in pain in the body. We know when we are feeling a little bit overwhelmed, we might feel our jaw begin to tighten, our shoulders begin to tighten. And sometimes it can be felt around the lower back. So we quite literally brace ourselves against what's to come. with the support that we feel beneath you, no need to brace, no need to hold, just that feeling of letting go now. Ready. Ready to face the rest of the day, hopefully feeling a little bit more stretch, a bit more in contact with your body. Have a little wiggle of fingers and toes. You can stay down in Shavasana as long as you like and stay there if you simply stop the meeting and you can lie and enjoy, or if you want to start to move the body, maybe come back into that full body stretch if that feels nice. Slowly now. Bringing those knees back in towards your chest, one hand on each knee, give them a hug, give them a squeeze. Maybe bring your nose towards your knees again if you want to come up into that little ball. And bringing yourself down, down onto one side, and then coming up to seated when you're ready. Take your time, no rush. You are. So again, try not to sit into your low back. So prop yourself up on something. So again, you can just lift up and out of the hips. And bringing the fingertips to the floor. Just lift up nice and tall, soften the shoulders. I know it's that time of year where the shoulders start to creep up towards the ears as we brace ourselves against the cold. Let's take a nice inhale together, reaching the arms up, lengthening the spine one last time. Hands to heart, chin to chest, and I'll Leave you with the words of a lovely yoga teacher, Wanda Scarabelli, who said, you're only as young as your spine is flexible. Wise words, hey? So thank you. Namaste. Thank you for playing with me today. Something a little bit different, but hopefully you enjoyed it nonetheless. Thank you.